So this here is the Chinese X9 key cutting machine. Now, it turns out that it really doesn't cut anything I need at all. Because the key that I need to cut is that fella right there. Now, I've talked to the Chinese manufacturers or the resellers and they got no interest in helping me at all. So, I pulled the computer off the back and this has got a little SD card. Sorry, wrong way. This has got a little SD card in it. So I pulled that out and had a little look. Um, actually, I pulled the whole thing apart. It's got a couple of mil at megas on it. Um, and there's no real way of attacking it. I haven't even tried connecting to it because it seems everything I needed was on that SD card. So it's worth checking out my blog to see about uh, what I've done in reverse engineering, what's on there to get something useful. So here's where I'm at at the moment. Reversing the key cutting machine. It's worth having a look at. Basically I've got what the code was, the key profiles, finding the matching one in the code and trying to decrypt what they've done to figure something out, to figure out the protocol. Uh, this is the, what's on the SD card at the moment is what I've come up with here. That's the key that I want. And this is my attempt at creating the file for it. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I've got another document I'm in the process of, which is actually documenting this format so that anyone can produce it a lot easier than trying to read this whole book. So this is time for a first power up. So that computer, Slips in the back there. That's it. And plug the power on the side. Now we have nothing. Why do we have nothing? Uh, East stop. Nope. Yeah, nothing. Maybe it wasn't pushed in properly. Let's try again. There we go. So there's the Chinese firmware X6. That's not right. Push the wrong button. This doesn't work. There we go. Thirty-seven. How do you like that? Pins six, depths four, same as AB, double side, double side biting. Excellent. Yeah, uh, how do we go back? Hmm. No. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Cut. Biting code. Uh, let's go look at a cabinet. This is one of the cabinets that we need to do. If you have a look, it's S221. Okay, it's, uh, it's biting should be 121. Oh. All zeros. Odd. Maybe something's not working. I'm going to do a test cut now. Yeah, out of 37. Really dumb name, but now I can choose between one, two, and three. Because I think I've got a zero in there that I shouldn't have in the file. One too many zeros. So we'll sort that out. My keying code, one, two, one, or biting code. I don't know what it is called. One, two, one, four, three, two. So, let's do one, uh, hang on. One, two, one, two, one, 
four, three, two. Yeah, I'm very sure I've got the numbering wrong. Go, align. I don't know why, how I've done that. Speed. There we go. Let's give this a try. Okay, so as it turns out, these don't really fit in there that well because of the shortness of the key. So I think I've got that lined up as per what it says, which we'll see again. So we'll go cut. See, it says lined up against that gap. It doesn't really indicate which side of that gap. Let's see what happens. It looks quite ugly. Yeah. It looks quite ugly. Okay. So here's the key. Truth is, we've got no idea how close to right or wrong it is. But to be honest, it looks actually not too bad. I thought it was looking pretty ugly, but I don't know that it is. So this was the one that we supposedly cut. <gasps> no way! This one, S035. <laughs> First attempt, <laughs> for real. The one. There we go, three, three, four, three. Oh yeah. I've managed to cut three keys correctly. You can see the issue here is that that's the clamp. And that I can't really fit it in there properly. So I'm kind of wiggle this, I'll put it in there, kind of wiggling this, trying to get it correct. Trying to get in the correct position. You line it up there, but getting it perfect is really hard. So what I'm gonna do is 3D print a little guide so that the guide can sit in that channel. So we just slide the guide in place, slide this in, clamp it down, take the guide out and do the cutting. So let's get to measuring. So this is where we want the key right now, which I would say we're actually a little bit far forward. So let's get the verniers out and Get measuring. Okay, so I've quickly sketched up here is uh, something to in on shape, really nice CAD software. Uh, basically, it's going to be a little block that I'm going to 3D print out. It'll slide into that gap there that's meant to be cut out for. It'll slide into that. The key will slide into the top, and that will allow you to position it perfectly while you do up those clamps on the top. So. I'll reduce the length of it a little bit and that should be spot on. We'll give it a try. Yeah. So here's my 3D printed piece. My key. The slot. You take my plastic piece, that slides in there. My key goes in there, as such. And what we do is we push the plastic piece 
all the way I need two hands for this put the camera down yep don't fall over so we push the plastic piece in until it pushes the key back into the spot on position so we got that wee little bit of wobble there which is quite surprising considering how tight that gap is okay so there's my process that I've got going on so there's my key there's my key so we just give that just a little bit to loosen it and holding a camera at the same time always makes things harder okay take the key out now I'm going to test that in a second I'm going to put the camera down grab another blank grab another blank okay so we'll this one of those shavings right there it's just got to fit under those two which it's not under them yet now it's under them take my plastic piece there you go so we push it up against that edge and we give that just a little bit of tightening that it needs there we go slide my plastic out and we're good to go now my new body is two four oh, what is it it's two four one two 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 here we go two four one two 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 and we're off simple as that so this is the key I just cut we're gonna go and check it out now because things are actually lining up properly now, I'm not going and uh, expecting failure anymore. So here it is. Did I cut a different one? Did I cut this one? I did too. I cut it for the wrong one. I need to do. Oh, I still need that key. Let's let's try again. Anyway, okay, I've now done a good oh, 25 keys or so. Um, everyone with different biting, and it's gone flawlessly. So now that I've done a few of them, basically my process is uh, I can't have too much build up of this, so basically I just give it a quick brush. Um, I was blowing, but the problem with blowing is I made a bit of a mess. And you can see by the amount of shavings we've done a few keys, and every single one's worked. So basically what I do is I take my key, and I slip it in between that, which it is now. Take this, slide it in. It's now all fits perfect. And I just give it a quick tweak, uh, a quick torque up. Now I don't put much force on this because it doesn't need much force. I take out my plastic. Just make sure that I'm tight, which I am. Fold that down and same as before, I enter my biting, which I've gotten quite quick at. So we're gonna go three, three, four, 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 one. Interesting one. Three, three, four, 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 one. Enter, enter, enter. And that's it. From here on, I can trust this machine's going to do a good job considering it hasn't stuffed a single thing up yet.